Explore more about the topics you love with Topper. Subscribe now and keep learning. Ugh, why are there always so many rules? Don't run in the corridors, don't talk too loud, don't finish all the ice cream in the fridge. I'm fed up. Hey, but I can't deny the rules do come in handy sometimes. I mean, I would definitely fail my linear equations test if I didn't know the rules to solving them. You do remember what a linear equation is, don't you? Let's do a quick recap. An equation in which the highest power of the variable is 1 is called a linear equation. And we refer to the highest power as the degree. So we can say that a linear equation is an equation with a degree of 1. Here, degree denotes the highest power of the variable. Okay, so ready to see the rules for how to solve linear equations? Take a look at this equation. x minus 4 is equal to 2. Now, to find the value of x, the first thing we need to do is tear apart the variables from the constant. Or, as I like to call it, divide and rule. So all the unknown values are placed on one side of the equation, and the constants are placed on the other side. But how do we do this? Well, we can always use the help of our friends, the arithmetic operations. In order to keep only unknown values on one side of the equation, I need to get rid of the minus 4 on the left-hand side of the equation. Can you think of a way we could remove the minus 4? Can't we just add a plus 4 to it? Sounds right. Okay, let's do that. So we get x minus 4 plus 4 is equal to 2. Wait, wait, wait. There is something wrong. Adding a 4 to only one side of the equation would be wrong. And here's why. Imagine you have a weighing scale with equal masses on both sides. What would happen if you added something to just one side? The weighing scale would be unbalanced, right? To keep it balanced, we have to add the same mass on both the sides. An equation is like a weighing scale in maths. If you add or remove anything on one side, you have to do the same thing on the other side as well, or the equation won't balance. So, instead of adding 4 to only the left-hand side of the equation, we need to add a 4 to both the sides so that both the sides remain equal. I mean, that is what the equal to sign between the two sides stands for, right? Now, once we add 4 to both the sides, the equation becomes x minus 4 plus 4 is equal to 2 plus 4. So, on the left-hand side, the minus 4 and plus 4 cancel each other out and become 0. This leaves us with x is equal to 2 plus 4. Now we can just add up 2 and 4 to give us the value of x, which is 6. Let's try solving one more example. Say we have the equation x plus 5 is equal to 9. To find the value of x here, we need to remove the 5 from the left-hand side. Remember the rules. Whatever is added to or subtracted from one side of the equation has to be repeated on the other side as well. Accordingly, we have to subtract 5 from both the sides of the equation. This gives us the equation x plus 5 minus 5 is equal to 9 minus 5. And thus, x is equal to 9 minus 5, that is 4. That was simple, right? If there is an extra number along with the variable, then all we have to do is remove it by addition or subtraction. But can we use multiplication and division too? Well, let's see. Here's another equation. x by 2 is equal to 6. You can see that there's an extra number along with the x. But can you remove it with addition or subtraction? No, right? So instead, we multiply both the sides with 2. And this gives us the equation x by 2 into 2 is equal to 6 into 2. The 2 and 2 on the left-hand side of the equation can be divided and thus result in the number 1. This leaves us with x is equal to 6 into 2. So x is equal to 12. Now that you know the rules, go solve some linear equations. Until next time, keep learning and don't forget the rules.